Hello, my YouTube Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking about my April favorites. Crazy to think that April is over and not a whole lot happened. <laughs> I was stuck at home. So if you guys like favorites videos, you like me sharing some of the things that I have been loving throughout the month, then be sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. All right, guys. So I did not include a book recommendation in here because I have so many makeup favorites. It's weird that I have so many makeup favorites. I feel like being at home has really allowed me to explore my collection a little bit more, be a little bit more mindful of what I'm using, trying different products, giving myself time to try different products and all of that. So I feel like I've been really digging into my collection and using things that I didn't think that I would enjoy. But I do have one lifestyle favorite in here. All right, so first favorite is this Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. I did a video of this, reviewing this, and I said this was crap. Okay, I don't know if there was like, a overspray or what but these open these side colors right here called citrus and main squeeze these were the ones that I said were not very good because they just seemed like glitter top coats but I have been using this and loving this I've been going in with the shade sweet tea in my crease adding the shade strawberry lemonade on all over my lid putting a little berry ice in the corner and then I've also been adding the shade citrus and main squeeze as all over lid shades and it's just so pretty. I don't know if you can get this palette anymore, but if you can, I really like it, especially for the springtime. I have the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss in the shade Beechwood. This might be my favorite plumping gloss I've ever tried. Granted, I've only tried two, but I like this better than the Buxom one. <laughs> this is such a pretty color. It stays very pigmented on my lips all day long. I did a review video trying out different color pop glosses, so I will link that in, in the description box so you guys can go back and watch that. And I talk more about other color pop gloss formulas also, but this was in that video and it just is so pretty. I love this shade and I love the formula. All right, I have another ColourPop. Yep, okay, this is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Moonchild. This is a Kathleen Lights collab. You guys, the glitters in here are just unreal. You do have to be a little bit careful with this because if you put a ton on your lips, it will dry down eventually after the glossy part has weared off and the glitters will still be there. So it's very pretty to wear in the spring, summer. It's super neutral, so you can put this on on pretty much any super bold lip and like tone it down. And it just is such a good formula. It's got this like brush wand, which I didn't think that I would like at first, but I ended up really, really liking it. It feels so lightweight. I am not a lip gloss person because I thought all lip glosses were really sticky. And it's not the case. This feels like a balm is on your lips, which I love the feeling of that. So I just had to include this in here. Next product I have, you are going to be shocked. This is the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. It's what I'm wearing on my lashes right now. This is the closest thing I can find to the Lash Blast Fusion, which is my Holy Grail Mascara. Now this I'm sure is definitely more expensive and it's high end and it's Smashbox, but something about the wand is so unique and special. It like fans out and then comes to a point at the very tip of it. But this gives probably the same, if not very similar effect to the CoverGirl mascara that I love so much. So I am super excited that I found like a high-end version or like a different mascara that I love because every other mascara I've ever tried has been crap compared to the CoverGirl ones. So this is super exciting and just kind of cool that I found one that I do really like. Next I have this LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liner in the shade Super Bright. It is the nude eyeliner that you have been seeing me wear in most of my videos. This stays on my waterline so well throughout the day. It is retractable. I mean, I love a retractable liner and it's super pigmented. It really brightens up the inside of your eye. You putting this on your waterline, it's such a pretty nude type of liner. It's not too pink, it's not too beige. It's just like the right tone. I have a primer. This is the Derma Blend Pore Saver Matte Makeup Primer. This is what I have underneath the foundation today. This blurs my skin, it does extend the longevity of my foundation. It blurs, it mattifies, it does everything that I would want in a primer. I do wish that it blurred like 
this much more. I feel like the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer is the ultimate blurring primer that I think of. This, I would say, is in line with the Revlon Pore Reducing Primer, but I just like that it also makes me matte. I would not say that it makes me matte like more than 10 hours. I think once I hit the 10 hour mark, I start looking just like a little bit oily, but that's just how it's gonna be because I have oily skin. One thing I will say is this like, I don't know if it's the formula. I don't know if it's, I have it sitting like this whenever I am not using it. And I feel like it has turned a little watery because I feel like the formula wasn't watery when I first started using this. So I've been trying to like mix it up every time and like shake it every time that I use it. But I feel like it still just is a little bit watery. So I don't know if that's the formula and how it just, you know, sits over time. I don't really know. It still seems to do a good job. I just really, really like this. And I'd say it's like a really good blurring and mattifying primer if you have oily skin. I have the Makeup Revolution Brow Gel in the shade Ash Brown. This is what I have in my brows. And this has been what I've been using in my brows pretty much every day. <laughs> I take this and I put it in most of my brows. This makes my, the front of my brow look so natural compared to just going in with a pencil. So I put this in my brows, give it a little bit of shape, give it a little bit more like bushy brows. And then I go in with the e.l.f. brow pencil pencil and sharpen up the outer edge and like curve a little bit more my arch. But I really, really have been loving this just on its own. It adds so much pigment to my brow. It's almost like I went in with a brow pencil. It's so pigmented. So when I run out of this, I'm definitely going to purchase another one because it's so good. And I can't believe that it's like eating out just going with pencil for me. That's huge. Next product I have to share is another lip product. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade Nude. This has been my go-to lip liner. As you can see, I've been using it. I feel like it goes pretty fast like it's just maybe a really creamy formula that you go through it like I have to re-sharpen it every time I use it but the formula is so good out of all of the lip liners I have I think this is the longest lasting formula and it's just the most suitable prettiest color for my lips it's like my lips but better they're just it's a little darker than my natural lip color but I feel like this tone is just so pretty for pretty much any nude type of <laughs> lipstick that you are going to put on. It lasts a really long time, it's affordable, and I just cannot get over it. I love the color of this. This is a product that I've had in my collection for a while now. I did do a video on this. This is the Zara Ultimate Lip in the shade UM01. I have a red as well, but this is the nude. I actually, I wore the Milani lip liner and then I put this on top and this is like my perfect nude lip combination. It is beautiful, it's glorious, it stays on my lips all day long. This is one of the best lipsticks I think I've ever tried. The formula is amazing, it's matte, it is comfortable, it is, the color is so flattering on my lips. I don't know what it is. This mixed with the Milani lip liner is like magic and I think I've found my ultimate forever best nude lip combination ever. We're getting through it. I have a couple products left. I do wanna share this. This is a foundation combination and I don't think you can get this anymore. I'm bummed, but I did wanna share it with you guys in case you do end up having this foundation still in your collection. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless mixed with the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This is the lightest shade and I actually am wearing it on my skin right now. I mixed these two because I was like, this one's a little too dark. This one's a little too light for me. So I mixed them and it gave me this. You guys, my skin looks so beautiful right now. So I just wanted to like give a shout out to this. I don't think they make this one anymore. I think that it's just a very, very good combination. I think it's really good for oily skin. This is the ColourPop Luxe Gloss in the shade Dream Queen. This looks really peachy in the tube, but when you apply it over a nude lip like the Zara lipstick, oh my gosh, it just is so pretty. It's like the perfect mix of a peachy gloss with a nude lip. Something about it on top of like a nude lipstick is so pretty and I've really, really enjoyed 
this formula, especially on top of a lipstick. I think I like it better on top of a lipstick than I do just on top of a lip liner. So I've been wearing this a ton. It's just so pretty. It's just a little dark and peachy, but it still can go over any nude lip and not look too peachy. I think it's really, really good for this time of year. An honorable mention, because they're upstairs and I don't want to go all the way upstairs because I'm getting a little warm. But I did want to mention, I actually just got AirPods, Apple AirPods the other day. I was gonna get Amazon cheap like knockoffs and then Chris was like, how don't we, we just get you like the real ones. They are so good. I've never had wireless like Bluetooth headphones before. It is a game changer. Whether you get the AirPods or you get like Amazon cheaper ones, oh my gosh, it is amazing. You are no longer like restricted to being connected to your phone via a wire. So I've been really loving it. Specifically, I like the AirPods because I can connect Bluetooth to more than one phone. So I can connect to my work phone and my personal phone. So then when I have a work call, they just switch over to my work phone and then I can go back when I'm done on the call to listening to music on my personal phone. So it's just super awesome. You take one out and it pauses the music, you put it back in, it restarts the music and then you can tap on them and do all sorts of cool stuff. Stuff, like changing the song and pausing it. I'm just really, really loving wireless like Bluetooth headphones. They're really good. All right, I wanna mention this. I've only used this for a few weeks, but my skin has looked so good since using this. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skin Care Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. This is an acne treatment mask. This is 10% maximum strength sulfur. It's supposed to clear acne, absorb oil, deep pore cleansing and with soothing aloe, and it has purifying kaolin and bentonite clays. I got this off Sephora and I got it because of the amazing reviews. So it looks like this. Literally looks like green clay. Doesn't smell the best, <laughs> but I use this for maybe two, three weeks now and I've been using it twice a week. I gotta say, I see a huge difference in my oil throughout the week. I see a huge difference in like putting it on after I have a breakout. It totally dries up and like clears the breakout within maybe a few days. It is insane how great this is. I think that as I use it over time, I'll continue to see a benefit in my skin, but I wanted something that wasn't salicylic acid because I feel like a little bit of it can be helpful for my skin, but it's not nearly as helpful as like some other ingredients, I think. And I've had a really good experience with clay masks, so I figured that's why I would try this one. I'm getting really close to finishing my Glam Glow Super Mud Mask, and that's why I repurchased another one. This is expensive, like this is 50 something dollars, so it's not, you know, cheap, but I think that this is gonna last me a really long time. It, because it's a thin clay consistency, it spreads on the skin really easily. You don't have to use a bunch every single time you apply this mask. Comes off easy. It's not like ripping at your skin to take it off. Going along with this, I've only used this a few times, but it is good. I see the hype around it. This is the Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. It says Wishful on the side. I don't know if that's the name. This is a scrub. It has pineapple enzyme, papaya enzyme, and AHAs and BHAs. Got this off of Sephora as well. The packaging is so cool. It smells like pineapple, so it smells very good. And it makes your skin the smoothest ever, as like a baby's bottom, you guys. This is an insane scrub without being too harsh on your skin. So that's why I just wanted to include it in here because I do think that while it is expensive, like the Peter Thomas Roth mask, I think it's worth it. A little goes a very long way and I just, wow, I was shocked the first time that I used this and feeling how soft my skin felt. Okay, I have two more products. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Garden Perfume. Okay, I got this in a sample and I was like, mmm, that smells so good. And I didn't wanna buy the 76 or whatever dollar it was, like actual size of it. So I just got a little spray, travel spray, and I've already used some of it. <laughs> this is not a rollerball, it's an actual spray, which I really like. But you guys, this is perfect. I will put the notes like on the screen somewhere, but if you like warm, yummy scents with a hint of floral, that's what this is. It says garden and I never would have gone for it, but it smells like it has vanilla, fruity, florally notes in here. I will, again, I will put them on the screen so you guys can get a better idea, but I would definitely recommend trying it. I've never used a Dolce & Gabbana perfume before, but I just smelled this and I was like, I need to have this. So yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. Last product I wanna mention is this. This is the Hydro Flask. I've been wanting one of these forever and 
In the summertime, I really like my water to be very cold and stay cold for a long period of time. I have my Nalgene, but it just, the, the ice cubes that I put in there, my water gets warm pretty fast. So this was a splurge. This was 50 bucks. <laughs> I really like the color and I did get the one that has the little straw, but I have been loving this. You guys, I put like two ice cubes in this before I go to bed and I wake up and it is still like ice cold. So I love that. It's a good size. It lasts me. I drink like a couple of these a day and I just really love how cold it keeps my water. I really like the design of this because it actually curves in like the straw curves into where you it doesn't hurt when you are like repeatedly drinking out of this you know sometimes straws hurt when they're like really sharp you know edges but this is not like that i like that you can hold it like this and yeah i just would really recommend it especially if you live in a hot area i'm sure this would be very good i'm sure that's why everyone has a yeti down in the south because you like your cold water and i get that so <laughs> i just wanted to put this in here because i've been really enjoying it and using it pretty much every day since I've got it. So yeah, there you go. There's all of my favorites for the month. Crazy. Let's hope May is better than April. I am crossing my fingers. But let me know what some of your monthly favorites are down in the comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.